guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review on a mascara that's been all over YouTube lately and it's been like that for a few months now and I haven't tried it yet. So I am talking of course about the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and I got the original one and also the waterproof version of it. And I thought that it would be interesting today for me to try the original on one side and the waterproof on the other eye and to see how they wear throughout the day and if the waterproof is really waterproof. And also if the waterproof version is as voluminous as the original one because I don't know about you guys but my main problem with waterproof mascara is I don't feel that they give the same effect as the original one like the better for better for sex like the better than sex mascara from Too Faced I don't like their waterproof version but I'm in love with their original one and this reminds you a lot about that Too Faced mascara and also today is my workout day so I'll be running on the treadmill with my mascara on and I want to see if there's a difference in wear time with both of these formula. I mean the waterproof one should be also sweat proof and we will see if these are worth all the hype. Let's start this video. So the colors I got in the original one is 201 black and in the waterproof one is 204 black is black. I'll be wearing the waterproof one on this eye and the original one on my left side. So let's start with the original version I have here and let me zoom you in closer so you can take a look at what's up with this. Hopefully it's magic. It's very lengthening and volumizing at the same time and it doesn't clump my lashes together which I really really appreciate. This one separates each lashes very nicely and it's very fluffy and I really like it. I'm gonna put a second coat because I always always do that. As you can see, it's really dramatic when you add a second coat. It does clump your lashes a little bit together, but nothing dramatic. My lashes are like super long compared to my right side. I really, really like it. So let's do the other side with the waterproof version. I don't know if it's my lashes or the product, but I'm less impressed with, with the waterproof version. Is it me or like on the first coat, it was less intense with the waterproof one. Let's do a second coat and compare. When I look at my lashes, I really like the original version better. It does voluminize and lengthen my eyelashes for sure but I feel that the right side, the left side, my left side, I feel that my left side is way more dramatic. This eye, my lashes have the tendency to go downward a little bit. Since I didn't curve my lashes before putting on my mascara, maybe that's why, but I don't know, I feel like it's not as intense and dramatic. Now that my mascara is on my lashes, I won't put anything else on my face. I will see you back in a few hours after my workout and we'll see how well this wears. I just wanted to do a quick check-in. I've been wearing the mascara for three hours now and I did take a nap. It has a little bit of flaking on my left side a little bit though compared to this one. I will go and run on the treadmill I don't wanna but I have to and I will check in with you guys right after that 
season. I just finished my training, so as you can see, don't mind the sweat, but I just wanna show you what my mascara looks like now after running and sweating all that, so I'll zoom you in. On my left side, it was a side with the original mascara, so it did smudge here. This side is a side with the waterproof. There is no smudging, no flaking whatsoever. I'm very impressed with the waterproof properties of the mascara, so I'm really satisfied with that. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my shower with my mascara on and I want to see how easy it is to remove it. Usually not a waterproof mascara, you can just put water and a little bit of soap and it will come right off. But I want to really see if the waterproof one is going to be able to survive under lots of amount of water under the shower. So I am going to let you know. But right now with the sweat test, workout test, the waterproof is the one to go. I just finished taking my shower, as you can see with my hair, and I just wanted to show you guys the look of the mascara right now before I remove everything. So I didn't use any soap, I just cleaned my face with a little bit of water, and then I will clean my face uh, thoroughly tonight because I wanted to show you guys the effect of a lot of water on the mascara and I didn't want to use any soap just in case it would like influence the results. On my left side there's like no more mascara at all all like everything is gone pretty much but on my right side there's still mascara and when you touch the eyelashes there's a little bit of flaking going on there and it did smudge under the eyes here my lashes are like sticky now right now this is the look so i'll just remove everything and i will be right back so i have my final thoughts on the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara here and I am actually wearing the original one on both of my eyes right now because I actually do prefer the overall effect of the original one as I usually do with any mascara. I usually like the original formula better than the waterproof one. I don't know why, maybe it's because they have to add other ingredients to make the mascara waterproof and those ingredients make you know the effect not as good as the original version I do not know however I do recommend the waterproof one if you are planning to go outside and it's gonna be sunny you're gonna be sweating you're gonna be wet I don't know what you're gonna do but all that if you need a waterproof mascara you have the choice with this brand however it's not like a hundred percent waterproof like if you dunk your face in the pool for like multiple times i think it will actually smudge and flake because in the shower it did that for me and i was not taking a bath i was taking a shower so you know be careful with that but it did survive my workout so if ever you go to the gym after work like i do then it will be a good idea to wear a waterproof one if you don't want to smudge everywhere on your face but overall I really like the effect of this mascara it's like super lengthening and it's super voluminous it's super affordable it's a drugstore product it does compare with the two face better than sex so if you are on a budget I would totally totally suggest you to grab this one instead of the two face one because of the price and it does the same thing that completes today's video. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, please participate in my giveaway. The link will be in the description box down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!